This is a tutorial on installing and using Deep Freeze. Deep Freeze is a very simple, easy program to use when you want to freeze your hard drive in place. When I mean freeze in place, I mean nothing can be changed on it after you have frozen it. So after you install the operating system, all your drivers, all your programs, etc., you freeze the drive and not even an administrator can change anything on that drive. Now I'm going to show you guys how to download, install, and use Deep Freeze. We're going to go to Faironix.com, go to the download tab, choose the product that we want, hit add evaluation, and hit next. Now we got to fill in the information. They like to know who's using their products so they can contact you, etc. Just filling in all the useful boxes. Next, uh, now we get a download link on the right side, click it, and wait for the download to pop up, save it wherever you want, it's a small file, it's like 12 seconds to download, depending on your internet connection I guess. Alright, we're done, I'm going to open up the file location and put it on the desktop, you don't need to do this. I'm going to run it, I'm going to close the browsers, and next, yes I accept, next, I'm going to use the evaluation key, choose the drive we want frozen, and install it, it's telling us that it's going to reboot after we install, it takes a few seconds to fully install, it's not long though, it depends on your computer, it takes about 10 seconds at most. Alright, and we're restarting. And we're rebooted. To open up the Deep Freeze control panel, we're going to hold Shift and double click. I did not put a password on, so it's the first thing I'm going to do. Just put the password in, and we're going to hit OK. And it prompts you that a password has been set. Hold Shift and double click again, put in the password, and you're in. This is just a screenshot. At the top left, you see the status, it says boot frozen, boot thawed, amount of restarts, and then boot thawed. When you boot frozen, it will prevent all and any changes, even by an administrator, from being made to the drive. When we boot thawed, this is where we can make all the changes, um, like installing programs, installing updates, etc. Any changes that you want made to this drive needs to be done while it is unfrozen. At the top right of the Deep Freeze control panel, we see Set Clone Flag. This allows us to create multiple images of this frozen drive and deploy them to multiple systems. This version of Deep Freeze doesn't allow you to create images and deploy them. The, um, the version to do that would be Enterprise version. That pretty much sums up Deep Freeze. I'm going to include a link to Ferronics.com on the right. Send me an email if you have any questions. I'd love to help.